In this lesson, we are going to learn how to use Kramer's rule to solve a two by two matrix. By the way, Kramer's rule is amazing. It is super easy. So if you are a student that is struggling right now to understand it, I promise you by the end of this lesson, you will understand it. So the first thing I want to do is just explain why we need to use Kramer's rule. Like what is it? Okay, so remember back in the day when we became really good at solving two variable systems, you know, we had like three X minus four Y, equals to six and two X plus two Y equals to eight, for example. And we had three main methods that we have learned how to solve. We would use, um, we could use elimination. We've learned how to use substitution. We've learned how to use graphing. Now we're just gonna add in a fourth one which uses a matrix kind of method because now we're learning about matrices. We're in the chapter of matrices um, and that's Kramer's rule. That's all. So you could technically um, just go solve all of these uh, using the three methods we've learned before, but I don't think your teacher would be too happy if the question's like, please use Kramer's rule, and you're just like, nah, ain't nobody got time for that. So it's it, it, it all gives you the same answer, okay? It's just a different technique, and I like it. It's actually pretty cool. You might like it as well. Um, it's nothing weird. Um, as long as you know how to work out the determinant of a two by two matrix, then this thing is so easy. So here we go. Step one, what I want you to please make sure though, um, is that you always have your X's uh, first, and then you have your Y's, and then you have numbers on the other side. So for example, if I gave you a system that looked something like this, um, and let's say this one was like 2X minus 3Y equals to 6, this is not the correct setup for Kramer's rule. For Kramer's rule, you want the X's first, okay? But then you also want the Y's to be on the left-hand side as well. So you would end up taking that 2Y to the left where it will become negative. Um, and then you would have 2x minus 3y equals to 6. Once you have it like that, then we can use Kramer's rule. x is first, then the y's, and then the variable, or the constant, sorry, on the other side, okay? It doesn't matter if your x's are negative, doesn't really matter at all. Just make sure x's and y's are on the left, x first, and then y. And then Kramer's rule works amazing. So there are three main things that you need to, or let's first actually, sorry, I'm jumping the, I'm jumping ahead here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn this into a matrix because we're in the chapter of matrix, matrices. So Kramer's rule is a matrix kind of method to solve a two variable system. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take these numbers, all the numbers that are in the front there, and you're gonna turn that into a matrix of so four minus one, six and four. Okay, and then you're gonna, um, I don't know, some teachers just put a line like this and you're just gonna put the 18 and the negative six or however you wanna write that. Okay, so the way that it works is the following. We need to go work out three things. We need to go work out the determinant, like we've always done in the past. Then we're gonna work out something called the determinant of X, and then the determinant of Y. Okay, if we can get those three things, then we're good to go. So let's start with the determinants. Now that's just the determinant of this normal matrix. You know, where we just do four times four, and then we say minus, and then we just say minus one times six. That's just the normal determinant that we've always done for a two by two matrix. So that's gonna be four times four, subtract, and then negative one times six is negative six. So it's gonna end up becoming 16 plus, because that becomes a plus six, and that's 22. Okay, so we have our first step done. The determinant is 22. Now, listen up, this is where things get a bit interesting. So remember that this column here is your X's, this is your Y's. To find DX, what you do is you go to the X column and you take it away, you take it away, and you replace it with these two numbers over here, okay? But I'm gonna actually just leave it like that for now, and I'm rather gonna make a new one. Okay, so you're gonna take the X, so this is our DX matrix. So you take the X's away, everything else stays the same. And what you do is you replace these X's with this over here, okay? So that's gonna become 18 and negative six. Then you just go work out the determinant of that. So it's gonna be um, 18 multiplied by four minus, we'll subtract, negative one times negative six is positive six. And so that's gonna give us 72 minus six, which is, what's that, 66. Okay, so we have dx, fantastic. Now, to find dy, you've guessed it, you're just gonna go back to the original. Please don't use this one now. Go back to the original, okay? And you're gonna look at the y column now, because why are we looking at dy? So you look at the y column, and you're gonna replace the y column with 18 and minus six, but now this part, you're gonna keep it as it was. So don't use these numbers. We always go back to the original. So we're just gonna 
change these for these. So this part stays the same. And then we go 18 and negative six. And now you just go work out the um, determinant of that. And so that's gonna be four multiplied by negative six um, and then subtract. So four multiplied by negative six and then subtract 18 multiplied by six. So that's gonna be negative 24 take away 108. Okay, and then you go work that out. And that gives us negative 132. Okay, those are the difficult parts. Now, all that you need to do is the following. To work out the value of x, because remember, that's what we're trying to do, right? Um, we're trying to find x and y. So to work out x, you just say dx divided by d. So that's going to be um, 66 divided by 22, which is 3. And then to work out y, you're just going to say dy divided by d. And so that's going to be negative 132 divided by 22. And that gives you negative six. How easy is that? That's Kramer's rule. I like it, uh, but we're going to do some more examples now just to make sure you really get it. So I've got another two examples. So this one, and then we've got another one. Okay, so remember, step one, just make sure that this is all the x's and the y's are on the left. X's are above the x's, y's are above the y's, and then the other numbers are on the other side. Because once you've got that, then you can turn it into our normal determinant matrix. So minus five, minus five, minus one, because there's a little minus one here, and three, okay? Uh, let's go make our other dx matrix. So the dx matrix is where you will, oh, and I could also, I mean, your teacher might do this differently, but I'm just gonna put that. Now with the dx matrix, so remember this is your x column, this is your y. So with dx, you are going to um, replace all these x's with these numbers over here, okay? So it's gonna be 11, negative 13, and then the rest stays the same, negative one and three. Let's go work out our dy matrix. So now please don't look at this one. Now you go back to the original and you replace all the y column now with 11 and negative 13. But the rest stays the same. So that's negative five, negative five, um, 11 and negative 13. There we have it. So now what we need to go and do is just go calculate each of those. So we're gonna go calculate the, the normal, um, determinant, then we're going to work out the x determinant and the y determinant. Right, so to work out this one, it's just going to be um, the normal determinant method. So that's negative 15, take away, and then these two multiply together gives us 5, and so that's negative 20. Then to work out this uh, dx um, determinant, it's going to be these two multiply together, which is 33, and then you're going to say minus, and then you're going to multiply these two, which is 13, and that gives us 20. Now we're gonna work out the dy matrix. So that's gonna be uh, these two multiplied together, which I believe is 65, take away, and then these two multiplied together is negative 55, so that actually becomes, um, so that's actually gonna become a plus, so it's 65 plus 55, and that gives us 120. Okay, now we're almost done. To work out the x now, you say dx over d, and so that's gonna be dx is 20, D is negative 20, and so that gives us negative 1. To work out y, you're going to take the dy determinant over d, and that's going to give us 120 divided by negative 20, which is negative 6. And so our final answer, we should always write this out. I don't know if I did in the previous example, but it should be negative 1, negative 6. And here's our last example. So step one, please make sure that everything's written in the correct way. X is above X's, Y's above Y's. They're both on the left-hand side. X is first, then the Y's, and then these numbers on the other side. Once that's in place, you can go work out your normal determinant, which is just by saying five, one, minus five, five. How did I get one? Uh, because there's a one in the front there. All right, and then to work out your, remember this is your X column, this is your Y column. To work out DX, oh, and then I should write these numbers, 20 and negative 26. To work out DX, your, your X determinant, you take these numbers and you replace them, well, you, you replace the five and the one with the 20 and the negative 26, but everything else stays the same. So it's gonna be 20, negative 26, um, negative five, positive five, okay? And then the dy determ or the, the y determinant. So now you go back to the original. Don't look at this one. Go back to the original, and you would now replace this by this. 
and so that's going to be, but everything else stays the same. So the x's go back to 5 and 1, and then this will be 20 and negative 26. Um, and so there we have it. So now uh, we just need to go work out the determinant of each of these. So for this first one, it's going to be 5 times 5. And then take away, and then you multiply these two together, which is negative 5. And so that's going to give us 30. And then we're going to go work out the dx, which is going to be um, 20 times 5, which is 100. Subtract, and then if you multiply these two together, that'll give us, what's that, 130. And that'll give us negative 30. And then to work out dy, um, you multiply these two together, which is negative 130. Subtract 20, so that's going to give us negative 150. Okay. Now, to go work out x, you just say dx over d, which is then going to be um, negative 30 divided by 30, which is negative 1. To go work out y, you say dy over d, and that's going to be negative 150 over 30, and so that's negative 5. And so the final answer would be um, negative 1 and negative 5.